Another guy that was at the book signing. Uh, Tom. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I, I was yelling stuff when I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, try again. <laughs> okay, yeah. I yelled stuff and they threw me out. But you know what I find ironic is in the WWF, man, they got John Lester and everything else working for them. And, and you guys, you know, you guys can't clown around. Well, uh... Come on, dude. <clears throat> Pat Patterson is a, you know, he's a sexual harasser. He still works there, and he's a rock buddy. Is this so that guy again? He's getting a rock. Are you the guy that was... That's uh... right, but I used to work for them, and I'll tell you right now, I challenge any of them. They got so, so more... Da- dude, they set you guys up so bad. I seen just about a... You could tell by the way he was talking to you guys. that They were it... going to set you up because he wasn't even himself. Man. This guy called up uh, uh, a couple of months ago yeah, and said that he was sexually... Over. Uh, abused or assaulted. I was sexually no. harassed. harassed. When I was a kid, I was abused by a ring announcer from the WWF. <laughs> I ring sued them and wow. they did cause guys, damage. You, you guys, <laughs> let me tell you something. You guys can or, or whatever, but they used you like a pawn, like they used everybody else. He knew he was going to do that. He was on a view yesterday, in the morning, talking about the racial angle. Uh, this is a total thing, man, where, where they knew all along they were going to come out and they got all the publicity out of this that they wanted from the New York City area, man. They just use you guys. I hope that you guys learned your lesson, man, and don't support them no more. And let me see if Shane McMahon or Vince McMahon gives you guys a call and says and tries to smooth things over. They, they, they blew you guys up, man. All right, Tom. Thank you. Yep. All right. Oh, I just just had it rolling out of the station. Over I, 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 I saw it. All right. Well, everyone's talking about our interview with The Rock yesterday, Anthony. It's big news today. We we gave our views earlier, so we don't want to rehash that part of it. But we want to yeah. we want to play for all our faithful listeners the very uncomfortable moment. I haven't heard this yet. So uh, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to start the tape here where we're still having fun with The Rock. Yeah. Just joking around, and then all of a sudden we're blindsided. Absolutely blindsided. The Rock all of a sudden making, uh, I don't know, racial accusations and getting all pissed off. All right, so let's uh, go to the tape from yesterday. Well, that's the funny thing is you didn't even try to be a good guy. I mean, it just happened. Like, he'd go out there and say he was the people's champ, and the people were like, no, you're not. You know, you just like being pompous and saying, I'm the people's champ. And then after a while, it just caught on. You brainwashed everybody. (laughs) You hypnotized them or something. (laughs) So, like, yeah, he is the people's champ. (laughs) <laughs> hey, Chris, what do you have for The Rock? Rock, this is one of the millions of fans. I was calling to find out what kind of injuries you've ever sustained in the ring. Uh, in the ring, other than a couple of knee injuries, had uh, a couple of surgeries already. Uh, that done shoulder injuries all the time. Pretty much your typical bumps and bruises. Yeah, you can see time and time again, you see like black and blue marks on some of the wrestlers from going off the ring and everything. What about when you flip over the top? What's that do to you? <laughs> well, the, you won't see too much flipping over the top from The Rock. Not like the Hardy Boys or anything like that. Yeah, they get into it. The, that ladder match is still one of the most amazing, phenomenal, yeah. amazing things I've ever seen. Uh, we got Sick Boy in the studio. He, he's like a wrestling expert. You got a quick question for The Rock there, Sick Boy? He's been chomping at the bit all afternoon. Yeah, I was actually kind of curious about it. Remember the, uh, the MTV special over the summer? They had uh, the feature on Tony Atlas, who was your dad's tag team partner. I was kind of wondering if you saw that and what you thought about they they kind of highlighted some of the the hard times that tony's gone through over the years and him talking about being so desperate that he wanted to kill himself and all that and just what your thought on it was you know with your dad being his partner well uh before the rock actually answers that just out of curiosity uh you know the rock's heard of your name and the rock's got a question for you regarding your website (laughs) (laughs) oh no Actually, I had no idea it was you uh, who was who goes by the name of Sick Boy, but right. uh, it was brought to my attention last night from the office that your website carries a lot of racist comments, and I just want uh, I want to hear about that. And for the most part, I just want to know. It sounds like all you guys are friends, and if you guys had known that this is a guy who has racist comments on his uh, website, and if in fact you guys are behind that. Oh, I've seen his website a few times. He's got a, a bunch of writers on there, and uh, I think they just open it up to everything. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think there's anything ever been racist, no more than any of the humor that goes on in this show. Well, hey, now, don't, well, don't blame our show. No. <laughs> don't lump us into that. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, uh, after it was read, a couple of lines were read yesterday. The officer called me, read a couple of lines for me, said uh, something like, you know, The Rock being half black, half Samoan, doesn't know whether he should go uh, rob houses or eat food or whatever it is, and saying uh, Jacqueline's from the jungle and and Mark Henry, something about him being a gorilla or a monkey or something like that. (laughs) 
elaborate on that. Mm. If that's the case, if you guys are behind this guy, then really, I, I really don't even want to be here for that matter, and I certainly don't want to talk to you. Well, if, I mean, if there's been any, I mean, th this is nothing that's been written by me. I've got a staff of 15 writers that are on the site, and the site is done as an, an entertainment site, uh, you know, adding humor and just commentary on what goes on in wrestling. I haven't seen anything that was racist on the site. If there was any, anything that I ever saw as being too extreme, it would be gone in a heartbeat. You know, there's been plenty of stuff that gets... Well, being deep. saying that uh, Jacqueline is, is from the jungle and Mark Henry's a monkey and whether or not The Rock wants to rob houses because he's half black or he wants to eat because he's half Samoan, quite frankly, I find that offensive. Well, I haven't seen that. I mean, I haven't I haven't seen those posts at all. I don't know if anybody else has. And I'll be honest, I've, I've never read any of that. Uh, I mean, I've I've never seen one thing up on uh, up on my site that that would ever be racist because that's not you know that's not how I was raised and that's not how I would run a website. Well, it's on there. Well, I haven't seen it on there. If it's on there, it will absolutely be removed. But you know, I I absolutely do not condone nor do I you know support any of the statements made. But and if you know somebody on there has made racist comments like that, they're absolutely going to be fired. Can I be excused? Whoa. <laughs> really? Wow. All right. Well, for the most part, it's one of those things where, I, again, I was contacted, I was made aware of it, and the, uh, the office was made aware of it, and uh, and quite frankly, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't want to answer your questions. And if you guys have anything to do with this guy, I quite frankly don't want to have no, anything no, to do with you guys. Honestly, I've, I've never read any of that stuff on the site, and that's yeah. the honest truth. No, we have we, yeah, we, have, we have him on whenever uh, we have wrestlers on. He's a... Uh, an expert knows a lot about it. We have that on. I don't know anything about any uh, racist uh, uh, postings. Uh, like I said, we don't we don't condone that either. Yeah. Well, it was brought to my attention last night, but and it was read to me over the phone and in, in detail. When you have when you have a, an open forum, especially on the internet. There's not really much you can do about, about well, that. Well, apparently it was from the writers who you must employ. <clears throat> well, they're not they're not paid writers at all. They're just they're hired based on their writing skills. But if I'd known somebody was well, posting that kind of for crap, that matter. Well, you know, I apologize for anything that you may have taken offense to. I absolutely, you know, do not condone that type of writing, especially on my website. You know, it's something that I put a lot of hard work into, and it's been up for two years now, and. You know, we've we've put a lot of energy and a lot of money into it to make it something to be proud of, and for something like that to be on it is a black eye to the to a black eye to the site, and it's a black eye to me. And you know, I apologize to to you and Jacqueline and you know anybody else from the WWF who, if somebody had made a comment like that to them, then uh, they will absolutely be gone. Hmm. You mean African American site? All right. Enough with that. <clears throat> wow. Boy, that sure turns around uh, quick. Look at that. What the hell are you doing? So what else, guys? Let's wrap this up. Yeah, no problem. Oh. 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 Yeah. God damn. You, you ruined our interview with The Rock. What the hell? We were all having fun. All right. Well, we still want to thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I hope you don't hit us. Well, no, I mean, if, if, you, if you know of this, and, I, and, and, and if you're telling you, me the truth, wait, wait. if you know of this... I'm, gi I'm giving you my word. You don't know what, much about me, but I honestly have never read anything like that on this website. And that is my, my word. I'm not backing down or anything. I've never read anything like that. And that's the God's honest truth. All right. Well, I believe it's there. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, if you say it's there, but... I was pretty much there, you know, for the most part. Again, I was brought, aware, was brought to my attention last night, sat on the phone for a good couple of hours, and... Uh, Made the publishers aware, and I, I had no idea, no idea it was him. But uh, appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you. Okay. Uh, book signing starting at... And there it was from yesterday. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Isn't that weird? Oh, what, what? a difference a day makes. <laughs> oh. Oh, Thank God Lewis came here to give us some humor. If right? we had a naked girl yesterday, I think everything would have been fine. Yeah. And The Rock's a little angry with, uh, you know, the races. Oh Christ! Look, boobies. You know, <laughs> and, and everything's cool. You know, I mean, we talked. The Rock apologizes for calling you a racist. Bring on the gash. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about it the first hour of the show today, but basically, you know, what pisses me off 
and, and we did say right from the start of today's show, if he wants to come back on our show today by phone or live, I don't care. I'll say this to his not face anymore, as well. Not anymore, not anymore. Right. But That's it. He can't come now. But I think it's the done. guy, and I said this earlier. Statue limitations. I think I, I said it earlier. I think the guy's a pussy because, oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. He's okay. Oh, and I, I would say it to his face, and we did um, say he could come back, and I'll tell you why. Because after after that whole segment was done and we went to commercials, any man would have would have, would have stayed behind and maybe talked for a few more minutes. That guy turned his head and whoop, oh, out the I'm, door. I'm sorry to say, from listening to that, the only uh, people that sounded like pussies were uh, me, you, and Sick Boy. Well, we said that earlier too. <laughs> I mean, we, we were we were blindsided. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't know where that was coming from. It's yours. My favorite is oh. you know you go well you know the least we can say is we're glad you came in and then you go yeah yeah we are we're really <laughs> yeah yeah really, really glad. Please don't beat us up, you huge man. I mean, you got a professional wrestler. The guy's giant sitting there. See him uh, every week on TV, like three times a week. And, uh, you know, you, you, you blindside it like that. It's kind of hard to come back with something. And I, it